Hanukkah, otherwise known as the Festival of Lights, is all about the unexpected. Miracles that happen on that day where one little jar of oil was supposed to last just one day, lasted for eight days. So today, in the spirit of Hanukkah, I'm gonna show you eight awesome oil experiments that you can do at home. But wait till the end, because we're gonna blow out these candles in the most epic way possible. All right, night number one, let's get to it. This is none other than the classical density tower experiment. We have water, we have corn syrup, and we have oil. So we're gonna start in order from most dense to least dense. The most dense obviously will sink to the bottom. The least dense will stay on top. All right, most dense is corn syrup. I'm gonna add one more because we wanna get it nice and high. Let's add the water. And to help you visualize it a little bit better, some food coloring. Swirl it around a little. There we go, watch this. It's just like on a platform. It goes underneath the corn syrup for a minute, but then it just settles on top incredibly as if it's on a tower, which is why it's called a density tower. And now last but not least, our oil. So we're gonna add the colored oil just to make it, again, more visible. The oil is just gonna rest on top of the red. First of all, let's take a moment to appreciate this density tower. We're not just talking about liquid density. I'm gonna show you some solids dropped in here as well. I have a nut right here. I'm gonna drop the nut into this density tower. Watch what happens. Floats all the way to the bottom. Next up, I have a die. Do you see how it just lands right on top of the corn syrup? But is sunk underneath the water. Our Hanukkah themed drop, where is a dreidel gonna land? That is so cool, it floats, but it doesn't float on top of the oil. In between the oil layer and the water layer. How awesome, look at that. Now we just need one more thing on top. And that is gonna be styrofoam balls. First night, Hanukkah oil experiment, our density tower. How beautiful is that? For the second night of Hanukkah, I think we're about to mix things up in a real cool way. Yes, I'm talking about the water tornado. Now you could go the easy way out and just go online or go to a store and just buy the retail version. A little plastic container that you spin has some dish soap in there, and when you spin it, the circular motion turns it into what looks like a tornado, which is just the soap going round and round. And yes, you could take a mason jar, drop a little bit of dish soap in it, put glitter or beads, and give it a whirl. And there you have your own tornado in a jar. Simple to make with just some home items. Hanukkah is the festival of lights. Let's light it up. Now again, what does this have to do with an oil experiment? If you wanted to color that tornado, to make this blue, for example, you can't just put blue food coloring in it and then think you're getting a blue tornado. You are, but the surrounding water is blue too. So you're not accomplishing that much it looks cool, but the whole thing is blue. In order to get an isolated blue tornado, you need colored lamp oil. And this is our second night experiment, an oil tornado in water. I actually did this with a ton of different colors a few years ago. Check this out. Unscrew the tornado connector Add the oil to the water, close it up, give it a spin, and we have the colored blue tornado vortex. How awesome is that? All right, night three. If you take oil and put drops of it around, it basically turns into like mini microscopes where you can see a magnified version of whatever you're looking at, but it has to be drops. Let me show you. If I take a pipette, take some oil, pour some in a cup, open to a page in a book, place it underneath a clear surface, whether it's a piece of glass, careful, or plastic, or anything really, just make sure it's see-through. I have a bowl here that I'm gonna put on top of a book. As I suck up drops of oil, 
and place it over certain words with like that, it gets magnified. What if I take it up a notch and I take a full cup of oil, place it on top of the words? It does not magnify. Why is that? Comment below. Let me know if you think you know the answer. Now, the way it works is when I place the oil over the water in the bowl, it acts like a magnifying lens because of the rate of refraction, how light bounces off it, and it's actually pretty amazing. You don't need anything fancy to do cool science tricks. Just need some miracle oil. Now, speaking of really cool science experiments, you're gonna love night number four's experiment. Let's go. And this is one of my favorite experiments because you can light it up. Now, it involves Alka-Seltzer, water, and some oil. That's it, it's the simplest experiment. Let me show you how to do it. You have some water on the bottom, just a little bit, and you add oil. Most of the rest of the liquid is going to be oil. We are going to drop the Alka-Seltzer tablet or effervescent tablet, Alka-Seltzer is the brand, into the liquid. It's gonna sink to the bottom where the water is, because remember, the water is more dense. It's gonna start bubbling. I'm gonna mix some food coloring in. The carbon dioxide that's trapped in here wants to come up. It's gonna drag the water with the food coloring in it. When it gets to the top, the gas bubbles are gone. Hey, I'm water, I'm heavier. It drops back down over and over and over, and that's how we get our lava lamp effect. We're gonna add a little twist for our Hanukkah version. We're gonna light this up. My waterproof, programmable light, drop it down. Now, we definitely wanna add food coloring because we want colored blobs coming up. Here's a little preview of what's to come. Look at those blobs dropping ever so slowly. That's because they don't mix with the oil. Let me give it a little help here. See how it's not mixing? because the food coloring is water-based. Ah, uh, there we go, our water is colored. How cool is that? Take our Alka-Seltzer tablet, and in three, two, one, boom. Bubbling's about to start. And once it gets going, it really gets going. This is so relaxing, and it's all thanks to oil and water's different densities. Science doesn't have to be complicated to be pretty cool. When it dies out, just drop another tablet in, and you'll get the effect happening all over again. All right, night number four is done. Just wait till I show you what I have for night number five. All right, night five, we're turning into a racetrack. With a thin layer of oil in this shallow dish, in this plate, we're gonna guide a water droplet through our maze. No rotors, no motors, no fancy wires, just oil and water. Now watch as I guide it around. Look at that, it's going on a ride. Oil provides the most frictionless surface to glide and ride on. That water droplet was having fun surfing. This was experiment number five, the fifth night of Hanukkah. We only have three nights left, three experiments left, but the ending will be a banger, so you don't wanna miss it. All right, here we are, sixth night of Hanukkah. I hope you're enjoying this video. If you wanna see more experiments like this, make sure you subscribe so you know when a new video comes out. The next experiment is truly magical. I'm going to take this glass rod. The rod disappears in the oil. Reason being, the glass is pretty much the same refractive level as the oil. So light's gonna pass through them at the same rate, making it think that it's the same substance like looking through a clear glass window and you're not gonna see anything. There won't be any light bouncing off of it, which is why the glass rod looks invisible. We are getting closer to the end, which I am super excited about. We are about to enter night number seven. That was almost epic. Night number seven. I hope you guys are all having a great Hanukkah. Night number seven is all about fireworks, actually. We're gonna be creating underwater fireworks. As we know, oil and water do not mix. So if I were to put these drops of food coloring into the oil, it would just rest on top. But since it doesn't allow it to mix, it holds onto it pretty strongly. It tries to pass through it. I'm gonna put some droplets in some oil. Then we're gonna dump this entire mixture into this water. 
the food coloring water is denser than the oil, so it's gonna wanna drop down below. As it does, it's gonna spread out into a million little pieces. Here is underwater fireworks. Look at that. And that is underwater fireworks, which brings us to our final experiment. Let's go. All right, eighth and final night of Hanukkah. Let's talk about the colorful flame experiment. I bought this kit, expecting it to be amazing. Look what's inside. It comes with so many different chemicals. Lithium chloride, cupric sulfate, strontium chloride. My plan, was to put each chemical in another tin and light it up to have a full eight flaming rainbow colored menorah. That would be so cool. Didn't go exactly as planned. I laid them all out, put a little bit at a time. I was getting a little bit of a flame here and there. I just dumped it all in. And you see from the footage, I just couldn't get that beautiful rainbow of colors. Again, I probably did it wrong because these chemicals should light up. I actually did a video a while ago and I did get a better color but I just couldn't get it this time. So I didn't want to disappoint. I got these party candles. Now these party candles have the same chemicals that are in these bottles, just melted into the wax, melted into the candle. So you can buy these so that when they're lit, the chemicals react with the fire and burn according to that chemical's color. It's the same type of chemicals that are found in fireworks when fireworks shoot up in the air. And you know me, you know I love a good fireworks show. I mean, who doesn't? This summer, I took my son to an amazing July 4th fireworks show. It was epic. Now, those same chemicals in fireworks are in these candles. Let's get this light going. we have our rainbow menorah right here. We're gonna go out with a bang. I'm gonna blow out these candles with none other than our air cannon. So let's get to it. Let's get them out. Boom. You're keeping track. I did eight experiments, but only seven oil experiments. Number seven was the flaming rainbow colorful flame experiment. That was not oil. So to keep true to the title, I'm gonna show you how to make this awesome ocean wave in a bottle. Bonus experiment, all you need are two bottles of water, some food coloring, which I'm gonna put into both of them. You only need one bottle of water. I'm just showing it to you in a couple of different bottles so you can see what it looks like. And then clear lamp oil. So I'm just gonna fill up the bottle completely to the top. Let's get the color going here. So it looks like the ocean a little bit. You'll see why soon. I'm gonna fill this all the way up to the top. Oil and water don't mix. Remember, the blue water is going to stay on the bottom and our oil is going to float on top. This is a wave bottle we're making and it's so simple to make. I hope you guys are having or will have or had a fantastic Hanukkah and I hope you enjoy these science experiments. All right, let's close our bottles up, tilt them from side to side so you see the full effect of our wave bottle. First one, the Voss, let's go. Well, let's mix up the food coloring. Works better with a longer bottle. Keep this on your desk, in your room. If you thought that was it, guess what? Video's over. I'll see you next time, stay incredible.